Hello again. It's me. Uh, thank you again. Uh, I know, once again, I don't want to be redundant, but I don't want to take it for granted either. I want to thank you for the time that you are allowing uh, uh, me to uh, share with you some of these things that I think are vitally important. I, I just want to talk just for a couple minutes about some other things going on in Chicago and other communities uh, around the country in African American communities. I gave you a couple examples about the steel mill project uh, on the south side of Chicago, which if uh, any of my friends that are elected officials are watching, I plan on doing everything in my power and my strength to uh, stop that uh, south side development. Friends, I don't care what's been done, it can be undone. I shared with you about the Kennedy, College, Kennedy King College where we eliminated the commercial district in an all-African-American community, West Inglewood, a violent community which needs more jobs, more businesses. How can you take a community that is ravaged by drugs, violence, and gangs and eliminate the commercial district? How do you do that? Tell me. Um, I want to know your answer to that. Um, I talked about those things. I also want to talk about something else going on in urban America, in African American communities. I'm going to talk about some more things going on in Chicago. You have some major uh, universities in Chicago. You have uh, University of Chicago that is connected to our president, President Barack Obama. We know that. He taught there. And uh, he has friends there. Our current mayor, Mayor Emanuel. The mayor of the city of Chicago, kids go there. We have the former mayor, the crook, Richard Daly. He uh, uh, is lecturing there. So, surely, University of Chicago is politically connected. Uh, High Park, wow. There's a community, in case you're not from Chicago, called High Park. Great community. Our president lives there. Well, a little bit outside of High Park. He lives in Kenwood. It's just, uh, uh, just not even a quarter of a block north of High Park. So, you know, he's a High Park guy. Hi, Mr. President, uh, in which I've known since 1997. Great guy. Uh, great president. Believe in God that he will get reelected. Uh, listen, High Park, back to that, friends. High Park has some major development going on. Wow. We're building a new hotel there. Well, not we. They are building a new hotel there. The, the, we, all oh, not we. They have new restaurants there. Man, a lot going on in High Park. Man, blacks are excited. For what? Those developments don't have you in mind. Matter of fact, those developments ain't for you or me. You better smell the coffee. Man, these developments going on in urban cities around America and Chicago, man, they do not have African Americans in mind. Land is being grabbed. Land is being stowed right under your and my eyes. Friends, I want to tell you something. We have been bamboozled to believe that home ownership is the fix-all for our problems. Now, don't misinterpret me. Owning a home is a great thing. It is. But let me tell you what Jeff Haynes thinks. I believe that we as a race will be better off living in tents and own our commercial district than owning a home and having to shop somewhere else. Yes? Go get you a cardboard box and I'll join you. Get you a tent. I'll live next door to you. i much rather, again, for us to live in cardboard houses and tents, makeshift houses, and own our commercial district. Because if you own your commercial district, if you own the retail and the businesses, businesses in your community, you can own houses. I know I was playing with you. I'm talking about plural, though. Please, friends, we need to be organized. We're so disconnected, we need to be connected. We are so disconnected, 
I know I'm repeating myself. Friends, please stay tuned. Look in your own communities. Look in your own city. Look at the people who you voted for. Look at the people where you worship. Now, I'm not saying there's no perfect person because there's not. It was only one. And we just celebrated him on Resurrection Sunday. His name is Jesus. He was the only perfect person. Now, this movement or these concerns that I'm sharing, they are not just African American based. And so I don't want you to think because you're non-Christian or non-African American that I don't need your partnership, that I don't need your friendship, and that I don't need your help. I want us to partner. Whatever your nationality is, whatever um, your background is, I need your friendship. I need your partnership. Please follow me. Let me follow you. Send some information back to me, what you're involved in, what you're doing. But we need folk that aren't viable or gullible. And friends, most importantly, we need people to tell us the truth. We should know the truth, and only the truth shall make us and set us free. Please, keep watching. God bless, and be encouraged. Thank you.